SEC opening weekend rolls on today from Baumwalker Stadium in Fayetteville. On another cool and clear day in Northwest Arkansas, the 10th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks hosting the Missouri Tigers in game two of the last four games, 35 innings, 10 hits, and 55 strikeouts. Yeah, you got to love that strikeout to walk ratio and that ERA, Arkansas boy. will be Connor Nolan. So Connor Nolan, yeah, he's having to be splitting his time between the football field and the baseball field. So changing from throwing the football to the baseball is going to be interesting. But a guy that will be right around 90, 91 with that fastball. He has some good sink down and into right-handers. In fact, he's had four of those. And he walks Holt. Yeah, consistently up in the strike zone thing when you go into SEC play. Man will bunt and a good one. Opitz cuts in front of Connor Nolan. The throw. Pulled himself from the back. Yeah, just an absolute perfect bunt by man if you're Arkansas in this situation. Sharply hit, could be two. Fielded by Kenley. And Martin drops the baseball. Everybody's safe. Down the right field line, trouble into the corner, and that ball is foul and barely. It's a foul ball. Yeah, it is a foul ball. Didn't see any chalk, and it wasn't fouled by much. That might have cleared the bases out. Shout out last night, a chance to put up a big number here. Cornelius down looking. Ground ball to Kenley. Tough to turn two. Martin the exchange. Back to first. Safe, and a run will score. Not a double play bouncer. Kenley and Martin gave it a pretty good try. Holt scores. Oh, they're going to call the runner at second base for getting a piece of Martin. Cameron Meisner was the one who disrupted Martin, so the run's going to come off the board, and that's going to be a double play. Here's the play that ended the top of the first. Watch Meisner slide. It comes late, so he's still in the air. Martin had to double clutch a bit, and our second base umpire, Ryan Broussard, said that's going to be a double play state you have to slide directly into the base so that was that was the call made by Broussard the second base umpire so TJ Sikama looked like he might have some runs of support he doesn't need many the way he's pitched this year no he does not I mean, it looks like one is the magical number for him so far this season earned run Martin Rolls went into the hole big bounce for Cornelius his throw it's not in time. Ortiz scooped it. The throw took a while once it bounced. And Martin has an infield base hit. You don't think this? Martin runs. Got a good break. Throw is going to be wide, and it'll drop. Stolen base number five on the season for Casey. Eats up Cornelius. His throw is wide. Doesn't go into the dugout, but Martin will scamper home with the game's first run. After the bobble, Cornelius still had a chance to throw on. Fletcher rushed the throw, and here's another payoff. Strike three called. Ortiz on his way to first. Damian Bill up the middle and through in the center. Second hit of the game for the Tigers on earth. And Casey walks again. Hard hit right over the base at second. Hope it's with the turn. Well, slam on the brakes as Meisner plays it back in. He's become a good bad ball hitter. You leave something elevated around the letters, he'll hit it. That was up. Bloops it down the right field line. Tracking fair. It'll drop for a single. Opitz sprinting around third. Got a stop sign from Nate Thompson, who was backpedaling towards the plate. Nesbitt gets another hit on a pitch that was left up. Franklin hits one to right center field. Peterson back in the gap will make the catch. Opitz will tag and score. Goodhart will advance to third. It's a 2-0 Razorback lead. Inches on each side of the play, but not high. Chopper towards Martin. He's had to show off some range today. Now shows off the arm. Pretty smooth so far. How about that inning in the fourth? That was a blink of an eye, and it's over. Set down five straight. Did he get Opitz? He certainly did. 0-2 pitch, and he hit him. Series through a game and a half. Another base hit off the tip of the glove of Veerling. 
Oh, pitch to third. He will be held with nobody out as the throw comes to the plate. Matt Goodhart's having a series. Four for five. His average on the rise up to 333. Fun at a low pitch. Sikkim is going to throw to third, and oh, Pitts is in a rundown. Casey's going to be tagged out. There's a chance for an out back at third, but McDaniel couldn't get the ball out of his glove. And then Nesbitt makes it to second. Potentially losing. Up the middle, off the mound, and through. Goodhart will score. Nesbitt will follow. A two-run, two-out single from Christian Franklin. Um, for me, I just took it one pitch at a time. Um, it just kept going one pitch at a time until I was done with my outing. The ball's on the chalk and fair into the corner. Zimmerman will cruise into second base with a double. They say, well, we have you. Helping save the bullpen so we have all our arms for the later in the game in the ninth inning and then Sundays. Chopper to Nesbitt. That's the second out. How much do you find yourself maybe talking to Connor between stars? Struggling just a little bit right here. And that's through for a base hit, so Zimmerman will turn third and come home. Fletcher's throw is not in time, and the Tigers have their first run of the game. Arkansas is going to bring in Cole Ramage, the sophomore out of South Lake, Texas, and a guy that got a lot of experience toward the end of the season last year, about the only freshman that was consistent out of the bullpen throwing strikes. Ramage trying to win this inning. Casey Martin. Makes it look easy, man retired. Tigers get a run, but we're halfway done. Batters. Got him again. How many is that so far? Six, and most of those in the last Breaking week. Breaking balls away. Ezell's bunt is pushed towards the mound. One play, Sikama slings it to first. Pretty good fastball to get Ezell. It's a good at bat by Fletcher. Cornelius has a chance to get the double play. The throw from Veerling beats Opitz. He had 32 walks a year ago and very patient this year, but not this weekend. Down on strikes again. Move from third base to second really cleanly. He's going to get another play. Short hop this time. One, two, three, and done. Go the Tigers against Ramage in the top of the sixth inning. Down on your, on your backside. In the air for Fletcher. Got to the spot quickly. And Ramage has retired all five that he has faced after coming on a relief. One is where he tops out at, but again, good sink. Another easy play for an outfielder. Kerstad gliding in. Inning over. Meisner gliding in. Pitcher starting to take over this game towards the later inning. My goodness, the inning is already over. It'll be interesting this year considering all the big-name teams. That's the first hit against Ramage. He had set down seven straight, but Peterson on to begin the top of the eighth inning. Put at least one or two on the board in the, here in the eighth. Holt Jr. had the RBI hit in the fifth. This one caught by Fletcher. Middle infielders playing up the middle. Smash by Ezell, heading into the right field corner. Peterson is going to be waved in as Kerstad digs out the ball from the corner. A run scoring double from the freshman man, and it's a two-run game. Hit to left, hit well. Franklin back on the track, and he'll make the grab near the bullpen wall. Kevin Cobbs. He's a guy that had Tommy John surgery last year and really was missed by Arkansas. On the ground under the glove of Nesbitt. Man will score. We've got a one run game. Couple of runs in the eighth for the Tigers. Daniel, the catcher. In the air to center. This will end a busy inning. The Tigers get a couple of runs back. Ground ball into the hole. Backhanded by Cornelius. His throw bounces and it's not in time. He's out with the infield single. Fletcher was ahead 2-0 and 
Sikama comes back and gets strikeout number 10. Soft dribbler towards Veerling. They're going to get the double play out of that. Strong throw from Cornelius, 122 pitches for Sikama. Keeps his team in this game. Arkansas in back-to-back -back games going to go to their closer, Matt Cronin. See his number, ZRA of zero. Got 15 Ks in eight innings. And he gets the strikeout to start the ninth inning. Hawks trying to go 2-0 in league play, 16-2 overall. Hit high in the air to left. Franklin doesn't need to get to the track. Ball is hit pretty well, but not near enough. Two outs. Where do you, you bounce the breaking ball? Why not throw the breaking ball? High fly to left. Franklin tracking in foul territory. Leaping. He's got it. What a catch to end the game. Climbing the sidewall and then sprinting over to celebrate with his outfielder teammates. What a dynamite play by Christian Franklin. And Dave Hanhorn can't say enough about this young freshman and his outfield abilities. Watch how far he has to go. He tracks that ball a long ways, and it just continued to keep drifting and drifting. And boy, the fans really let him go. That one guy almost got a piece of it. I think he had a word for him. He got to let me make that play. No, I think he was pumped up. Hog Penn celebrating. The flags are flying, and the Razorbacks with a one-run win. They've taken the series, and tomorrow they'll go for the sweep.